Hello Star Fam, I'm Esme and today I'm going to show you the brand new Quick Shop which was released in the last Wednesday update in Star Stable. The Quick Shop is currently only available to Australian players, so if you're playing on an Australian server you can try this out. If not, you will have to wait until this is released worldwide. This is for now only in beta, so you might find some bugs if you use it, but that's all very common if it's a bit beta because it, the point is to be able to find stuff with a very small test audience. So you see that I have a special button over here and that is the quick shop button. So I'm gonna press it and here we enter the quick shop and the tutorial. This is a really really good tutorial, you just have to tell you. So if you need to know how to do this, really, I really recommend you to use the tutorial because I really like it. I'm going to skip it for now because I think it would be easy for me to show this if I don't use it. But when you do this the first time, I highly recommend trying the tutorial out. So, this is the quick shop. I have a bug up there, don't bother about that. Uh, I'm aware that's there. In the quick shop, you can reach a lot of different things on your rig. So basically, all the gear and clothes you can find in regular stores you can find in here. So it's basically like a centralized shopping interface which is super cool and also one of the most fun features in here is actually that you can try stuff on before you buy it. And then I don't mean like one pair of leg wraps. You can also try on like a saddlebag. Okay so I'm gonna just reset everything. <laughs> so what I'm doing right now is trying to move around my horse. You can see me and my horse over here. I can zoom in and out by scrolling on the mouse wheel. If I press the left mouse key and move it, I can oh, tilt them a bit. And if I press the right mouse key and move the mouse, I can rotate. So this is super easy to use and you can zoom quite a lot, which is really nice if you want to look at tiny details. Um, but I think this is one of the best views. And I also took a pony for this video because I think it's easier to see everything then. So the thing is here that this works kind of like in the mall. You can go between horse gears and clothing, so you can go back and forth however you like. For now, let's try to find stuff on my horse. So here we can see all the things in the quick shop. You can see there's a lot of things happening here. So let's see here. What if I want to try on a bridle? So I want to try on, on a brown bridle. So let's pick brown and then go for bridles. So here I can see all the brown bridles available in the quick shop. And if I decide that, hey, I want to see how the stuff I'm going to try out matches with the stuff I already own, I can click here on show own. And you see that I get some great things here. I get the items I already own. I see them by them having a, bit, a little backpack icon, which is really, really neat. Uh, and I'm gonna see here, I think I should have a lot of items in here which are locked and I really want to show you those because they're really cool. I guess if I go for clothing perhaps. Yeah, show locked. So here you see they have a lot of things that I can't get because I haven't unlocked them yet. They have a lock on them. So if I click on, for example, the Yorick Ranger... Uh, shirt I can try it on but I cannot buy it so if I click on unlock I see here that I have unlocked Dundal but I I'm not liked with the Yorick Rangers in Mistfall and I'm not at level 13 yet this is my well one of my accounts not in Sweden uh, and uh, my Swedish account is level 22 of course because I've been playing on that forever uh, this is this account I'm playing on right now is not located in Sweden. Uh, so that's why I'm not yet above level 12. And here you also see the stats. I think this is something that most people freak out about. I don't really care about stats because I just want my character to look nice. So whatever in, for me. But I know that a lot of players really really care about this. So let's say that I'm gonna try on an entire outfit just to amuse you guys. <laughs> uh, let's reset this again. So go back to what I was doing. I want a brown bridle. I'm not gonna show locked. Uh, let's show owned and I can take, let's see here, yeah, let's, whoops, let's try on that one. 
And I would like a brown saddle to go with it. Let's take that one. Perfect. As you see, this is a really, really easy and neat way to move around here. I want a saddle pad. And I don't want a brown one. Let's see here. Maybe a pink one. No, that doesn't go with saddle. Blue always works. Love blue. Uh, and I want... Uh, let's see, I can filter blue and then let's take some decorations. Let's take a pair of leg wraps, which, yeah, that's nice. And I would like to have some sort of bow or maybe a flower or something. Let's see here. Yeah, that works. Let's take that one. And then let's go for clothing. I would like to have a pair of boots. Which matches, that might be a bit difficult. Um, because this saddle has a difficult color. I think there should be some sort of boots that matches. They're alright, I guess. Do we have any pants that will match, though? Mm -hmm. Let's go for blue here. And let's see what we'll find. I would like to have some sort of pants with socks, but I won't be that lucky today, I guess. Uh, we don't have a lot of pants with socks in this game. No, hmm. Aw, typical. Okay, let's go for blue again. I'm going to pick the jeans. That's gonna work. And a pair of gloves. Let's go for those. No, oh, those. Okay, they're brown. Perfect. <laughs> And then a top, and then I think I would like to have a blue one to match everything. Uh, nope. Nope, 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 nope. I want something else. Uh, what about... Uh, no, wrong blue. Nope. Maybe I should go for, like, something else. White? No. That's not work. That's better. Okay. <laughs> Let's see, I'm gonna go for that. And we're gonna top this off with a helmet. Let's try and see if we can... Oh, look. Could it be better? So now when I have picked my outfit out, I can see here that the outfit I'm currently wearing, like outside of the quick shop, I have my horse stats set to 2 in strength, 1 in discipline, 4 swiftness, 0 endurance, and 2 agility. And with the new tack I have on the horse, I get 4 strength, I get 0 discipline because I removed the one item with discipline, I get 9 in swiftness instead, and 4 in agility. So I can see all my stats here. Also for the player, I, you can see here that I have uh, well, done some magic to my stats. Which is, of course, really really cool if you are into racing and want to make sure you have the best possible racing outfit. So... One thing that I'm guessing will happen in the future, with future updates of this, would be to be able to buy everything you tried on at once, like have a buy all button or something. Does not exist yet, but if you would like to buy everything you have on right now, you could show previewed only. And here you have all the items, you see that I only own the helmet, so if I would like to, I could buy the gloves by clicking here on the little buy button. And the interesting thing here is that if I click the buy button on something which ha could be sold for both Jorvik Shillings and Star Coins, I get the choice between buying it for Jorvik Shillings or Star Coins. I don't have enough Jorvik Shillings, I only have 5,000, uh, but I do have a lot of your Star Coins right now. And if you ever would run out of Star Coins, you could press that button and be sent back to Starshipable.com to buy more. So that's really, really convenient for anyone who would like to. And this goes for the horse as well with the previewed thing, so if I go back to horse gear, and click show previewed only, I see all the things that I'm currently wearing. One thing to bear in mind now is that if I buy everything here and go out, I have two items here which I already own, so I don't have to buy them again, but if they are located in my wardrobe I will have to go back and get them, so they won't pop up just because I have them in here. So this is not a wardrobe tool, uh, but it's more of a shopping tool, so everything you buy in here will get transferred to your backpack, but if you already own something, it will not be transferred to your backpack. You will have to go and fetch it from your closet, unless you're buying it again and you can only repurchase uh, horse gear. You cannot buy clothes again. And I think that's all, actually. I'm trying to consider if I've forgotten something. You can, of course, sort by color. 
you can sort all the newest, alphabetical, level, lowest price, highest price, so everything is it's super convenient. You choose yourself if you want to see stuff you already own, which I think is great for outfit picking. Uh, show locked is great for anyone who hasn't gone very far in the game yet. I have already done an explanatory video of this feature on my Swedish YouTube channel and that wasn't as interesting because I have unlocked every single item and I already bought everything I like in there. So uh, the this little lock icon wasn't shown at all and I haven't really seen it in a while. <laughs> I have tried this feature before uh, but it was quite a while ago so I didn't quite remember how it worked. So I'm glad to get into it again and I'm very happy to have this in the game now. This is, as I said previously, a beta for the Australian players and this will be released worldwide in a short period of time. I cannot say when yet, but it will happen soon, I guess. <laughs> but anyway, that was the quick shop. So now when I click exit, I will get thrown out and since I haven't purchased ev anything, everything will be back to normal, as you can see. Um, I really enjoyed the quick shop. If you have any questions, drop them down below. I will try to answer any question you might have. I know it's kind of confusing right now when you can't try it out yourselves. Some of you might be from Australia and have tried it already. If that's the case, please tell me what you thought about it. I don't think I will use it that much because I do enjoy shopping around in Jorvik. I like going up to the store and buy stuff from there. But still, it's a really cool thing if you're like, oh, I really want that piece of gear and I, you can't remember where it is. You can just go into the quick shop and get it. It's also a fun way for you to try on, try on outfits without having to go through a wardrobe forever. Uh, nowadays, the wardrobe is easier to navigate anyway due to the rendered icon update quite recently. But, well, yeah. So, quick shop! Yay! At least for me. I think it's a cool thing. So... Yeah. I don't have much more to say. Let's <laughs> um, have a discussion about the quick shop in the comments if you want to talk about it. And I'll try to answer any question you might have. So that's all for me and I hope to see you all next time.